Hi everyone, welcome to Specialized Automations. So in this video, we will be discussing about the SQL Automation tool and its uses with the Selenium Web Driver. So guys, you are already aware of that the Selenium Web Driver is one of the popular uh, tool that we can use for automating the web-based applications. Okay, so the limitation is having that we cannot use it for Windows-based applications. So it may happen that sometimes we need to use it. We need to check the downloadable content from the web app. Or we need to upload some contents to the web. So how can we achieve that? Okay. So we can achieve that in Selenium Driver by utilizing the SQL automation. Okay. So what is SQL? The SQL is a visual based technology tool to automate and test the graphical user interface. Okay. It basically uses the OCI technology that we can say optical character recognitions and optical image based recognition. These two technology basically SQL use through which we can utilize the Windows based object. Uh, let me take you to my uh, take you to the Sikuli website. This is the Sikuli website, sikulix.com. And if you see that in the website, if you enter the definitions, we can find that Sikuli automate anything that you see on the screen on the desktop, running Windows, Mac, or some Linux or Unix. So basically, we can say that uh, what we cannot do using the Selenium, that can be easily done utilizing the Sikuli. So it's basically a jar file we need to the like same way we need to incorporate the jar file in the build part for this project and we'll be using it okay and one more thing guys like i need to need to tell you that sql is a support the scripting language is python and for my case i'll be running with the python scripting in my java virtual machine so it's a jython basically and so let's start. Let's go start it, and we'll be seeing about the basic comma that we can achieve with the SQL, and we'll proceed accordingly. Okay. So let me take you to my clips. So this is a project uh, done. This is a sample project. Mm, let me just uh, minimize it first. Okay. So first, I'm going to show you the SQL basic operations that what we what you can achieve utilizing a SQL. Okay, so SQL basic operation I'm gonna show you. Next thing I'm gonna show you is uh, script and that I'll be uploading some content from my local machine uh, utilizing a SQL in the Selenium web driver. Okay, so before you start, I need to set up the SQL. So before uh, before we, we, we already knew that how to configure Selenium web driver in our system and uh, we know how to execute it it using the test ng framework okay so now it's time to download the sql jar file for my case i'm using the sql jar file versions this uh, i hope you guys are able to see my jar file the sql xapi jar that um, version i'm using 1.1.1 okay and sql x, uh, x library win and sql set API 1.1.1 that three jar file that currently using so first you need to download the SQL X API jar so you can just simply download maybe get to the Maven repository portal and from that portal you can download the SQL X API see the different version has been listed one starting from the 1.1.0 all that version has been listed or you can just simply navigate to the SQL website and from that you can just download the latest version of SQL as 1.1.1 okay I already have downloaded this versions and I already saved it to my machine. Let me show you. Okay, I saved the SQL jar file in my C drive, SQL 1.1. So we can see this is the SQL X API that will be downloaded along with the SQL X SQL setup. This executable jar file it will be downloaded. Once it's been downloaded, now you need to click on that SQL setup. Okay, let me just click it. okay okay so if you click on the sql setup so you'll get a pop-up message like that you are about to run a setup for the sql jar file version 1.1.1 you should have a suitable backup just click on the continue if you're the first time uh, so click on the continue you will get started with the sql setup so first you need to set up i already have set up for my machine uh, so now i'm not going to continue from that uh, let me tell you the things you are gonna get here okay so make sure when i going when i'm getting this sql x setup pop up uh, make sure you click on that particular that python you will be using okay so just check on that and 
also check on the pack too i want to develop in java jython other our scripting language using netbeans eclipse other ideas so i'm using eclipse i'll be checking on that also and i want to use the terrace act based ocf features that's the one of the important feature that i'm going to use uh, so let me add it to also so utilizing that feature i can extract the text from a particular image okay so from particular image i can extract the text and i can compare that it's i mean exact text is appearing or not so if you want to uh, enable the OCR features, you need to check on three also. For my case, I have checked only one, two, three, both three of them. Okay. Additionally, if your system uses some proxy tunnel to access the internet, you can provide the IP address and port number. Click on the setup now, it will get set up. Okay. I'm just cancelling the setup. Already I've said these things before. And after you've done this, all these things will be generated in your C drive app data folder okay let me show you the things will be generated see that user laptop app data roaming securely okay see so once the setup is done the folder this will get created securely downloads this securely win and securely api Securely set up API 1.1.1 version. This two download will get generated. Securely library folder. This is going to be blank. And securely store, security access. So this way the folder would get generated. Uh, you need to make sure when you are, uh, I mean, for your project, when you are adding those things, adding the jar files in your build path, make sure this three you need to add the three things securely X API jar. Securely X library win file, securely X setup API 1.1.1. Let me show you the where it is located. The first one I show you guys uh, securely 1.1.1. The first one has been located in C drive, and this two has been generated after the successful setup. So it's currently in my securely downloads, okay, in my app data folder. Securely downloads a beta folder, not this one, not this one. Yeah, these two things you also need to add. This is a two executable jar file you also need to add. So I have already added the jar files in my uh, Eclipse. Okay. So after setting up the uh, Securely and adding the jar file, now it's time to start our uh, write a simple program. And let's see, I mean, uh, what are the basic functionality you can achieve if legend of Securely. Let me just minimize that first. Okay. Okay. So I've written a simple script. Uh, this script, uh, uh, I'm going to show you a different different things how we can what we can achieve. So this is a simple script. Like uh, what the basic operation I've covered in the script. Okay. This is simply a test ng script only. Okay. Okay, so the basic thing is that when you're utilizing a SQLI first, you need to, as this is an image based tool, so you need to, I mean, uh, you need to have those images uh, as an object. It will, it will, it will uh, use the images as an object. Okay. So, first we need to use the screen, screen, the new screen. So, the screen is a class from the screen object we will be using and see. Uh, I'm going to do, let me show you, I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on that particular windows button, it will get open, then I'm going to click on this particular command prompt, okay, command prompt will get open, then I'm going to close it, okay, I'm going to click on the close button, so these things I'm going to, I'm going to achieve it utilizing the security, okay, so let me show you how we can achieve it, so first thing is first, uh, for that, you need to have uh, your snipping tool, like, let me show you, okay so this is my snipping tool first you need to make sure that we we need to click on the particular object right this is the windows button to so make sure the when you are taking the object this way make sure it should don't take it like a wide boundary i mean huge rectangle make it just smaller just to cover the entire object okay not just this is this will be fine make it just small and uh, accurate this is fine okay not this way like uh, this this is not a good approach uh, let's uh, keep, it, keep it as a peak so other object may can over overlap okay 
so make it simple and just uh, just just cover the object from its boundary okay this way it will fail so uh, you need to snap uh, snip all this uh, object um, as a, and save it as an image okay so for my case like uh, let me show you uh, i have taken this image like for windows logo i have uh, named it as a windows logo as a png window logo png so i have set it in a class uh, selenium sql ocr uh, in this project folder already i have saved it let me take you to there this is the image base folder so this is the image where I've saved, where I've saved all the PNG images. And let's say this is the Windows logo, Win logo. That this is the first line Win logo that I've saved is the Win logo. If I click open that, to so see this is the Windows logo button that I've. Uh, it's not. Okay, so this is the Windows button. Uh, that I have snipped successfully and this has been I have uh, saved it in that particular folder image base image object repository folder okay and the next thing I am clicking on that particular command prompt button so I need to snip it also as it is on the image based technology tool so for command prompt I am giving name as a cmd.png and it's located here also okay, if I open that so this is the command see this is the command so command prompt i have already snipped this way accordingly okay so it will be clicking on the command prompt and next i'm going to click on the close so this is the close like if i click on that here if i open the command prompt, this is the close button i also see this snipped it this way okay so three images has been taken now before uh, <coughs> let me just move it. my system is getting hanged okay so when the I have successfully taken those three pictures, okay, three object, actually we can say image object I have taken. This is a, saved as a PNG. Now all this object, uh, from all this object, we need to create some pattern object, okay. So first I need to create one screen, screen object, the so screen screen equal to new screen, and then I am going to creating a pattern object. So pattern PA one, this is should contain the Windows logo, and then pattern PA two, this should contain the CMD and then pattern pa3 this is containing the close button okay and this next operation sequely operation that i'm doing j option pens i i guess guys who are already know about java and what is the j option pen this is the abstract window pane basically this is like a switch case so i'm going to show you this is java swing classes j option pen is a class so I'm using it to show you a different different choices I can make from my SQL just for your uh, just for this video I mean the basic operation that I'm going to cover so plus let me show you run this program and we'll see okay so in the J option pane, in the J option pane, uh, this is the input dialog I passed that whatever the option I, whatever the operation I'm going to cover in this equally, all these things are going to display it, okay. And correspondingly, I'm pressing, uh, you don't have to worry about that, okay. You, this is just for uh, showing you the details, okay. That's why I have used the J option pane. J option pane, yeah. So this is the input and what, what I'm going to do. We have, we have several options like we can simply click and check we can compare two images different different ways we can also check if images exist or not if some particular pattern exists or not finding text some particular images drag and drop images copy image to some folder paste by right click you can just uh, click on the image and right click do left click operations so all this nine operation will be covering in my as a sql basics okay so first this is uh, let me type one I'm wanting the simply click operations. So let's see what it's doing. So this is the first case. Okay, so case one will be executed. Okay, just click on okay. Let's see the result. So it's clicking on the Windows logo. So we can see it is clicking on the Windows logo and clicked on the command prompt. Now it's closing successfully. So the case has been passed successfully. This is a rest class. And the console we can see 
uh, from the console you can see that it's clicked on the windows logo successfully uh, windows logo dimension has been given then clicking on the cmd it's clicking on the cmd uh, along with the coordinate uh, everything has been given what the time has been taken and then it's closing the cmd okay so test case has been successfully passed so the case just now i passed let me show you this is the case one so first i'm clicking on this uh, windows logo just as a just a simple uh, statement i'm i'm returning here what it's doing first i have taken one screen class so from the screen class the screen dot clicks so in that particular screen object i'm clicking on the pa1 pa1 what p1 is a pattern object pattern object inside the pattern object i've taken this windows logo so the for the whole screen it will try to pattern the particular object pa1 that is pattern so this pattern has been found here okay so it will just click on that particular pattern object so it's clicking on the windows button okay so similarly this way now it's checking the screen the entire screen it will try to find the second pattern so the second button is containing the command prompt uh, images right so pa2 so it will it will click the pattern object pa2 the so next i'm doing screen dot click pa2 so it will click the pattern object pa2 the same way uh, next is clicking the pattern of the pa3 so this way it's uh, the we are able to successfully clicking on the windows logo opening the command prompt and then closing it okay so just now we have seen that we can do the simple click operations and uh, utilizing us fully okay so next thing guys i'm going to cover that uh, how we can compare to different different images uh, how we can drag and drop images then uh, how we can uh, compare uh, how you can check some particular image exist or not now we are going to find some particular text inside the images uh, we are going to click paste cop, cut copy paste paste right click 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 on some images okay so in my next video so stay tuned guys thank you for watching and if you like this video please like and subscribe this channel okay so thank you guys for watching